What's up, everyone? It's Eric with Option Edge, and tonight I'm bringing you a trade I put on um, this past Friday. Um, it's a post earnings put spread in uh, Lululemon. So Lululemon just had uh, a real good earnings report. Um, you can see the stock rocketed up all all the way to uh, I can't even see what that is like into the um, four dollars and forty level, maybe um, or maybe the four thirty five level. Uh, and it, you know, made a little candle down. Um, so that was the day after earnings. And then the second day after earnings, historically, if we look at some back testing with, uh, my back testing software, CML pro trade machine. Um, if you look, if we open, so here are the parameters. If you open this, let's see, um, custom earnings, you open this once the stock is up. So this is what this, uh, two days after earnings. Okay. We do 30 day contract and we only open the trade if the earnings move was up. So that's basically what this parameter is. It's if, if we had positive earnings and the stock was up on earnings. Okay. So historically, um, if we, and then I, I tweaked the strategy, we're going to sell a 30 Delta and buy the 25 Delta behind it. Okay. And you can see, uh, I mean, we're not talking about much money here. We're just looking at one contract. Uh, so, but we have a 4-0 win rate in the last couple of years. Let's take a look at the five-year mark, see how that works. Wow, that's pretty good five years. So, um, yeah, so, uh, and then the technicals for this, it has to be um, above the 50-day moving average and the RSI has to be below 70. So that's just um, uh, basically, the RSI factor or, or parameter is just making sure that uh, the stock is not overbought. And then over the 50 day moving average is just making sure there's uh, some technical uh, strength in the stock. Okay. Uh, so, so we're going to sell the 30 Delta and then buy the 25 Delta. Okay. So if we go to the options chain, we're going to pick 30 days from, uh, uh, it was about September 10th. So October 8th is about 30 days from that. So we're going to sell, sell the 410. You can see the Delta here is 30. And then we want to buy back, buy behind that, the 25 Delta. Um, ooh, I hit sell. So that's what it's going to be. It's a dollar 25 credit. I received a dollar 20 credit. Um, stock took a little dive right before uh, market closed. So we're max loss is going to be 375. The max profit is going to be the credit received. Okay. And um, we go back to our trading here. Um, I plan on closing this. Uh, I'll probably close this after uh, 10 trading days, which is two weeks. Okay. If we do those parameters, let's see how it works. The reason why, the reason why I want to do that is because then we, we get, uh, that, you know, we're, we're at risk. We have that gamma risk, uh, that I talked about in one of my, uh, that my video on gamma. Okay. So may, maybe I'll close it out. Maybe I'll, uh, let the whole thing, uh, uh, expire worthless if, it, if this trade works out. And, um, yeah, we're, we're, like I said, we're, we're risking about, uh, 375 to make a dollar 25. And we have some historical back testing data that um, hopefully gives us an edge in this trade and we come out profitable. That's the trade. That's it. If you like these uh, videos, like and subscribe. As always, this isn't any type of financial advice. It's just for educational purposes only. Okay. Um, alrighty. Adios, muchachos, and good night. Have a good week.